Dr. Science. Okay, you push the ring out and down. Just make sure everything is working down that'd, here. That'd be good. Brethren, check it out up there. <laughs> I'm here at a hot air balloon field to show you how hot air rises. This is a balloon behind me. And in a couple minutes, it's going to get really big. It may not look big now, but it will soon. Right now, they're filling up the balloon with cold air so that once they fill it up, it will keep its shape. This giant balloon is only a couple of millimeters thick, but it's going to lift up people and a basket up into the air. Right now, our pilot Frank is riding the balloon. They already filled up the balloon with cold air, but now they're filling it up with warm air. They're heating the air that's already inside, and that's why it's taking a shape up in the air. When it was cold, it just kept its shape on the ground, but it wasn't light enough to keep its shape in the air, but now it is. The reason that it's able to keep its shape in the air is because when he heats up the air by making that flame rise, it makes the air expand, making the molecules move faster and faster. When the air expands, the balloon expands and it holds its shape upward. much, but it's going to be able to hold people in a basket. The reason that works is because the air inside the balloon is heated up. And when the air is heated up, it becomes lighter than the air around it. See, when air heats up, it expands. And when that air expands, there's the same amount of air, but more space. That's why it's lighter than the cold air that's around it. The air inside the balloons is heating up. That's why the balloons are rising. When the air inside the balloons cools down again, the balloon will come back to the ground. The same hot air that makes the balloon rise will make your wriggly snake wriggle. <laughs> if you put it over a heater or a radiator, the hot air will rise and it'll make the snake move. 